what was your motivation to join the Marines and stay in them? Well, from high school, like, I mean, I, I knew when I was younger that I was going to go into some sort of, of military. I just, I, I just had that, you know, that urge to do it. I wanted to see if I could do it and like prove, prove it to myself. And then like September 9, uh, September 11th happened, and um, that was just like extra motivation to go. Like, you know, I was young and I wanted to go support my country for what I thought was a good cause at the time, and um, that was my motivation after high school. And I wasn't a very good high school student. I wasn't ready for college, so um, I didn't have any plans on going to college after the military. But it just worked out really well that way for me. And okay. What would you say to someone who was thinking about joining the Marines? Um, the biggest thing would be to really think about it. Like I did recruiters assistance when I was um, got home from my second deployment, and I put a few kids in the Marine Corps, and a couple of them it was a really good thing and. One of the kids I remember really well, he um, he had some real problems adjusting and he didn't, I don't think he thought it out enough, he just saw these images on TV of what he thought a Marine was and all this advertisement and he didn't really think out what he was getting himself into. Because it's one thing when you're sent at home and you know a Marine recruiting commercial comes on and it makes you look all glorified and the truth of, the truth of it is, is I mean, it is, it's very, it's something to be proud of but it's not, you know, it's not some picture on TV, it's, it's a real a real thing and it's, it puts yourself in a position where you know you could die and um, I guess the kid had a hard time adjusting to that and so I guess the biggest thing I would say to somebody is really sit down you know take a day take a week take a month to think about where you're at and what you, where you want to be and um, really really think about like what you're getting yourself into because once you sign that paper there's no turning back you know once you it, it can either make your life great or it can ruin your life depending on how depending on how you handle it. So just really think about it and if anybody ever asks me about it, I just the biggest thing for me is to be honest. Just tell them ask, ask um answer the questions they ask me because, you know, I'm not a recruiter. I'm not here to get numbers for the Marine Corps. If somebody wants to know about it, I'll tell them. So that's basically it. Okay. And then what would you say was like the greatest thing you learned from your experience as a Marine? Um, I think just cherish life and realize how short it is. That sounds kind of cliche, but, um, you know, once you go through a few situations and, you know, you, you have some of those life-changing moments, you realize, and, you know, you, you go and you see some of your buddies not as lucky as or successful as you and not making it home, and it just makes you realize that life is really fragile and you only get one shot at it, so, like, live it the best you can. Just as long as you're having fun and you're happy with what you're doing, and you know when you go to sleep at night and you feel good about yourself, I think that's the biggest thing. I don't know. It was actually very surreal because you do so much training and you know you go through so many field field ops. You know you'll go out in the field and you practice and you train and you get in the mindset. And you get all amped up and you're just like, oh man, I just want to get there, I just want to get there, you know. Like, you train for it, so you want to use your training in real life. And I'll never forget that first patrol I was on, like, got woken up that morning, it was like 4.30 in the morning, and we're like, alright, hey, we're going on a patrol, you know, you're going to be gunning, blah, blah, blah. And just, I just remember leaving the wire, and like, when you leave the wire, that's like, it's not like necessarily safe, but the safer area, it's like, you know, your designated area that you have, you know, it's protected. And you can still get mortared and stuff, but it's like your safe, your green zone, basically. And uh, I'll never forget driving to that wire. I was like, holy shit, like, this is for real. And it was pretty, pretty surreal moment in my life. But, you know, after you do that a few times, say, what was your and you mission to get all amped to join? It's like, oh, man, then get there. Just, what was your you know, like, you mission to so you wanna join in real life? Then and what was your I'll never forget to control. And, and, like, got woken up. Well, throwing was like, high school. Um, 